Hey, we're at Austrian Audio, and we're talking to a couple of our engineers. On the left, we have Richard, who is in test and measurement. On the right, we have Dita, who is in mechanical engineering. And we ordered a machine that um, does industrial level or industrial strength, whatever you guys would call it, um, measurement of cabling and wires for endurance and other properties. But uh, it's on its way to us, and we wanted to do some rapid prototyping. So they built and designed their own machine to do that in the interim until the new machine gets here. And it's a pretty clever piece of quickie engineering done in an afternoon, and we're going to post the um, files all up on our GitHub site, which you can see from our website or directly at our Gib GitHub address, which we'll post. And uh, let's ask them a bit about what this machine does and how they put it together. So which one do you guys want to go first? Yeah, that's me. That's Dita. Oh, okay. Uh, basically, it's a tester for cable uh, reliability. Uh, we have cables with very small diameter, and we need some um, pull-out forces and um, bending cycles um, that the cable has to achieve in order to uh, get uh, good results for the customers. Uh, we have ordered a big machine, an industrial-grade machine, for this test, but it hasn't arrived yet. But we need the results quite immediately for uh, feedback to, uh, to our vendors. And so we set up this machine with a, a servo motor and some Arduino board. Uh, it does the um, flex testing. So we try to achieve, let's say, 20,000 uh, cycles of this cable bent around a specified radius. It's three millimeter radius over here and a weight of 200 grams down there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will bend the cable in each direction, left, right, left, right, 90 degrees. Uh, and after 20,000 cycles, we hope it survives, so we can use this cable for our project. And you already tested a few cables, and what were the yes. results of the two that you have tested? Uh, we have we have had one that reached uh, 23,000 um, cycles, and one that we stopped after 65,000. That's much above our uh, limits. Uh, and this is the third cable, as I said, and mm, it has the smallest diameter, so I hope this will be the one that survives after this test. Okay, and Richard, you were telling me earlier a bit about how we specify our kind of internal standard as to what we're looking for. Can you tell us a bit more? Because Dieter already mentioned we have 200 gram weight on it, and we're going um, for um, three millimeters of radius turn, but how many turns per minute and all that other stuff? Yeah, um, we set this uh, device up to um, put out about uh, one cycle every second. Uh, it can be verified to whatever uh, you need. And how does that how does that work? How do you verify uh, it? You, had, uh, you have to get into Arduino source code. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, in the algorithm, you can set up the, the time oh, okay. in which it cycles. So what's the Arduino board doing for us here? Uh, it's basically doing two things. Uh, it controls the servo motor, and it also checks the cable for continuity. I hope yep. that's for continuity resistance. Yeah. for resistance, right? Yeah. And uh, we said it that the the Arduino will stop if the resistance of the cable succeeds more than ten ohms. Okay, that uh, that's what we define as the cable is broken. Mm -hmm. And every cycle, the Arduino board uh, sends a little pulse to a counter, which is this device. Um, it's a 5 volt, 50, 50 microseconds uh, peak, which the counter detects and, and counts up. Okay. And that's how we see how many cycles. Cool. And when are we expected to get our big industrial machine in? Uh, it's planned for uh, end of June. Okay, so yeah, coming in just about a month then. Why don't you uh, go ahead and turn this thing on and we can see it work. Yeah, we have implemented a, a little pause button because it can become rather noisy so if anyone is disturbed you can pause and if we unpause we will start Okay, there it is. 
and we'll do a video when we get the uh, real deal in here but for right now it works uh, perfectly well for our needs and uh, we'll post another video soon thanks guys